Hi there. A lot of you have been asking how come speed skaters have those huge thighs and how do you get them? So I decided to dedicate an entire video just to explaining all of you how you get big skater legs. So whenever the goal is hypertrophy or in just increasing the size of a muscle, what you need to do is really exhaust it. You need to continue with the exercises until you are completely smashed in your muscle groups. And you also need to target the right muscle groups. In this case, obviously the thighs. You should do movements really slowly because that will help you build more lactic acid, which leads to muscle growth. And there's many ways to do this, and I'm just going to show you some of my favorite ways here. We are going to start out with some very classic skating exercises. Like I said, two key things we're going for here is slow movements and exhaust. So, one thing that really burns the legs is this one. Simple, just move back to the old bit. Simple squats. Slow it down. Don't ever fully extend your legs. I'll try and show it from the side. Don't ever fully extend it so you get no rest. And we'll see within fairly few seconds. This is going to be exhausting. Remember, it's not cardio. You should move fast. You don't have to get sweaty. You don't even have to get your heart rate up. Just let it burn in the thighs. Another way to do it is to simply just maintain that position. But skaters, well, skating called the base position, the basic position until you can. Of course, it's better to go for a few more sets because then you can make your workouts longer and you get more out of it. You can also do this, especially if you want some more growth right around the knees here, stabilizing muscles. You can do this on one leg. Same idea. Can I do it with like a little up down? Not fully extended, just up till here. You can do that with both legs as well. This is also a good balance exercise. Another great way to do this, yes, I'll bring you with me, is to do a wall sit. Now wall sit is a terrible exercise because you can sit here until, well, until you literally can't sit here anymore. It's a great way I did it as a kid. Every time I took a shower, trust me, whenever the floor is more slippery, it's really hard to stay in that position. Uh, I'll try and go with this 90 degree knee ankle. It goes for all exercises. It's the hardest place to be, so that's where you get the most gains for your time. Another little piece of advice I'm gonna give you here is to do cardio, get lean. It won't actually make your muscles bigger, but having a lower body fat percentage will just make them appear bigger and they're gonna seem more defined which is pretty cool if you want thighs to look nice. I think that was it for my super quick advice on getting skater thighs. Of course, another way to do it is just to skate a ton. These are just ways where you can speed up the process, but obviously if you skate every day, you are per definition gonna have skater legs, which is what I find to be the most fun thing to do. So I only do weightlifting as a supplement training to my inline and ice skating. But these are cool ways to get skater legs in no time. Hope you want to watch more of my videos here. There's a bunch of stuff about skating. I mean, that's what I do. It's what I've been specializing in for basically my entire life. Hit the like, subscribe, comment if you have more questions or even better ideas for what I should film next. It was cool having all of you and see you on the skates.